Hello YouTube, this is Rich and today I've got a demonstration for you of the Git Draw Chrome extension by Ben174 and that's actually my brother. This is a Chrome extension that you can install that will allow you to draw on your GitHub heat map and then you can actually render it and push it to your page and when people visit your page they will see this little drawing on your heat map. So it's a pretty cool Chrome extension and uh, we'll demonstrate it on my page here which the heat map is quite bare so it's perfect for demonstrating. What we're going to do first is we're going to go to the link in on the GitHub page and install this Chrome extension and I'll just go to chrome colon slash slash extensions and on this page I can see that I do have it installed and it is enabled. After I reload the page, this less or more uh, will change into brush colors and I can actually just click on a brush color and draw right on the heat map and this is staging a drawing that I will eventually push to my GitHub page and so I'm just uh, doing a little doodle here and I'm just gonna see if I can kind of draw the uh, one of the swords from the Legend of Zelda Okay, now that I've got it staged, I can click render and it'll render the code and I can actually uh, preview it here and I can download the script at the bottom. Uh, but instead, uh, a faster way is to click the uh, download script directly. Now I will download the script. So to get this pushed over to my page, first I need to take the downloaded sh file and put it in my GitHub repository. So I'm just navigating through the finder and dropping it off in my demonstration repository. Now I will launch terminal and I'm going to change directories into my GitHub folder. Uh, so this is the git draw demo folder. And I can see that the sh file is there. Now I'm going to modify the file to make it executable. So the command is chmod space plus x and the file name. Then I will execute the file by typing dot slash and then the file name. Then I will do a git push to push the changes from my local computer to my GitHub page. And after doing that, I can see that it has now pushed to the page. So I'm opening an incognito window here and going to my public profile uh, without being signed in. And I can see that the, the heat map is publicly visible. So that's exactly what I expected. And naturally, this will only work with public repositories. And now I will remove the git draw extension from Chrome. And I'm just going back to Chrome colon slash slash extensions and clicking the trash can. And in order to remove the heat map if I want to, I'll just go to repositories and I'll actually open that repository. And within the settings of the repository, kind of buried down here, there is in the danger zone the delete this repository option. So just got to click delete this repository and type in the repository name and uh, agree, say under, I understand the consequences. And now I have deleted that repository and if I return to my profile, my heat map is now back to normal. So that's how you uh, install the Chrome extension, how you use it to push to your profile, and how you remove it. You can find the link to the GitHub page for GitDraw and the link for the Chrome extension to install GitDraw in the description for this video. Thanks for watching.